Deidre. <laughs> LaDedra Smith, my sister, what's going on? Hey everybody at Sugar Pearls Studio Kitchen Live. And tonight, I know, I was thinking about something. Hold on, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn my Fuji's down just a little bit. And then we are gonna get to cooking good looking, okay? Be right back. Yay. Oh. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you. Best album ever. My very favorite. The Fugees. The Fugees. That's Lauren Hill, Prozrell, Wyclef Jean. Oh! My joint. That's my joint. Um. It's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, and we are here live in effect for the kitchen. Hey, Kelvin, what's up, baby? Thank you. Mm. Y'all, y'all, y'all really here? If only you knew. Like, eight minutes ago, nine minutes ago, nine minutes ago, I was asleep on the couch. Like, I fell asleep because... Really, during the week, this is my bedtime. But I'm like, uh, hey, Sharon. <laughs> it's um, it's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, so we got to get cooking, you know what I'm saying? But Lord, when I tell you a sister was tired, the sister girl was tired. I mean, I was knocked out on the couch. I set my alarm so I could wake up, so I could, you know, get myself ready to cook. Um, and tonight we are doing, um, I wanted like, I'm gonna wait to do like a cold weather meal, but right now, um, you know, the, the pickings were slim. They got chicken on recall, millions of pounds of chicken on recall, beef ain't safe no more. So I said, you know what, let me go with my handy dandy shrimp. I'm gonna just do a shrimp quesadilla tonight. Shrimp quesadilla, and we're just going to have a little dialogue tonight. I hope that's okay with you. Hey, Jeanette. My cousin. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh. Um, so what I was doing when you called me earlier, I had a, a half a lime and some avocado. A little avocado. Ooh, ooh, I almost lost it little avocado that I um, cut up into this and the avocados were looking real good they were 49 cents a piece at Aldi today so I got a few of them cuz um for my shrimp quesadillas tonight I'm gonna do like a avocado sour cream dip to go alongside the quesadilla so all I'm doing right now is just kind of mashing, mashing, mashing until I get this to a night. I'm going to put a little salt in the. The salt will actually kind of help to um, break this down. So that's my avocado with the lime in there. That light is funny, ain't it? The light is funny. That's okay. I'm going to... That's, that's worse. Maybe, maybe that'll work. I don't know. It looks like a nighttime light. But that's my avocado with some lime juice. I'm going to put a little salt in it because then I'm going to add my sour cream to it. And I'm going to make an avocado sour cream. But I got to get all the lumps out of this avocado first before I, I do that. Okay. Y'all, welcome. Thank you so much for coming back. I'm glad you guys remembered that this was the week that I was going to 7 o'clock for Sugar Pro Studio Kitchen Live. And although it the fall season has come upon us in Charlotte, North Carolina, baby, um... It ain't quite there. Like today got up to, I don't know, maybe 65. I think the highest we had this week was probably 72 or something. It was kind of, kind of warm. 
So I'm not feeling wintry or, or autumn-y yet. Uh, so I'm just going to do a shrimp quesadilla. And I wanted to share with you um, an experience that I had this week while I make this quesadilla. Okay, I know it is not a autumn and an autumn or wintertime meal, but um, I just need to, sh to to be with y'all tonight. That's all. So pardon me. Next week, um, I already bought the ingredients. Because I'm going to make my grandma sugars soup. She made a vegetable soup back in the day. Let me tell you, the soup cured everything. Um, Martin, oh my God. Hey, bro. <laughs> What's going on, cousin? I'm so glad you're here. Uh, next week is sugars. Grandma sugars, that is. Grandma Sugar's Vegetable Soup. And the way she did it back in the day, she did like um, chunks of tender beef. I'm telling you, it was like the most tender beef in the world. But I'm not going to do that tonight. Tonight I'm just doing something real simple. And it's going to be, hopefully my body clock will be right by then. Because this, this, Maurice! Ah. Hey boo! <laughs> Child, this, this time change got me all jacked up. Mm. Uh, I was knocked out about five minutes before I came on the air. Five minutes. So for my quesadillas tonight, shrimp quesadilla, um, I had a couple of green and yellow peppers in there and I burned them because I fell asleep. I fell asleep. So now I'm going to put this red one in. I'm glad I kept this out. Uh, I already washed it off, dried it off, and now I'm going to stick it in the oven because I'm going to roast it. Now, if you want a nice roasted pepper, but you don't ac have access to a gas grill or a fireplace or a fire grill, you just stick this in the oven. So I got my oven, my oven lined with some foil and I'm going to stick this on the top rack so it can roast and get kind of charred and then I'll peel it off, okay? So let's just, ooh, I had some onions in there too and they're coming along real good. Tonight's recipe is shrimp quesadilla, shrimp quesadilla. Chicken has been on recall this week, so I ain't bought no chicken. Um... Beef, I can't consume a whole lot of beef because I get the acid reflux thing going on. So I said, you know what, it's fish or some sort of shellfish. And I decided to just do a uh, shrimp quesadilla. So right now I, I cut up um, avocado. Got that in my bowl here with some lime juice. And a little bit of, did I put salt in it? No, I did not. Let's put a little salt. Let's do just a little bit of salt. One, two, one, two. And really tonight, I um, I wanted to hang out with you guys just to kind of talk with you. Um, of course, I'm the queen of overshare. So I'm going to share my experience this week with you all right the names have been changed to protect the innocent but i ain't innocent so i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you what i've been dealing with okay all right so i got my avocado in there now to this avocado oh my god mm, 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 mm. to this avocado i'm gonna add some sour cream and then i'm gonna set it aside and you'll see what I'll need it for later, okay? So a little bit of sour cream. Oh my goodness, with that lime juice and that um that lime juice and pinch of salt is perfect. You don't need nothing else. So I'm gonna do like a big old dollop of sour cream. 
I'm going to do another one. I did two. <laughs> two dollops of sour cream into my Haas avocado. There you go. Avocado sour cream. Mix it together. Because, honey, in a little while, that's going to become some goodness that your life just can't be without. It really is. I got any bachelors out there tonight? Any bachelors in the house? Hey, Kenyatta! Hi, Ken! <laughs> Ken is a bachelor. Any other bachelors out there? This is a nice bachelor meal. Okay, you having a young lady over prayerfully. She is not allergic to shellfish. Because this is a shrimp quesadilla recipe that I am making up as I go. This is my avocado and sour cream mix with a little bit of salt and lime juice. That's it. Sit that aside. That's done. Okay? Sit it aside. And now... We are going to, ooh, so I got some black beans on the side too. And my um, pestle. So I'm going to mash some black beans here. These are my black beans. I threw a, uh, I diced up a Roma tomato and I put a Roma tomato in there with some onions and peppers and garlic and salt. And that's all I need. It's just going to be some nice mushed black beans that I'm going to have on the side. Oh, going to find you. You want me. So I got my Fuji's in the background. Some Lauren Hill going on. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Maurice. Look at my little cousin, Maurice. Thank you so... Honey, you bet... I know when you pray, things happen. So pray that into existence for me. The Sugar Pearl Studio Live goes national. And I got my beans here looking real good. They're so creamy. I'm going to taste them just to make sure it's got enough salt. Okay, set that aside, turn that down. Oh. Mm. jumbo shrimp earlier because I, I didn't want to hold you long so I cooked up the jumbo shrimp earlier let me let me show you what they turned out to be they ain't big as my eyeball that's the shrimp so they cook up about a, a medium after you cook them but they cooked and they're gonna go in my quesadilla all right, so for the other ingredients before I, oh, I got my little, my $10 paella pan here from Aldi. Before I do that, let me check on my red pepper. Y'all, we need to talk. We really need to talk. Oh my goodness. piece of onion in there so I'm gonna take the onion out and um, slice it up after it cools down we gotta talk y'all not a really 
let me let me think about what I'm gonna say first, cause I I don't want to appear ungrateful. Man, you look like you're tasting my food. <laughs> I hope so. I, and I hope it's as good as mine. What's up, Marvin? <laughs> so I ain't but a bean. Only you get to call me that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so I got some, um, I got a clove of garlic here. This clove of garlic. I'm just going to take off some of the bulbs and peel it. Now, peeling your garlic is not tedious. There is some, <laughs> my brother, Dan, Dan, if you don't say, Dan is from New York. So he already, always ready to fight somebody. Sit down somewhere. Ain't, ain't nobody to fight. Everything is fine. I just need to share some things about, um, my week. That's all. Everything is all good. Y'all see what I'm doing with that garlic? I take the, the clove and I... Take the back end of my knife. Let me show you. I'm going to do another one for you right here. Put the flat end of your knife on top of the clove. Smash. It's peeled. Back end of the, back end of the knife on top of the clove. Smash. It's peeled. Man, one more time for that one. Yeah. And for this one too. Okay. Okay. That's easy. So that way, if you don't have any um, pre-peeled or um, pre-diced or pre-mixed garlic in the house, it's very simple to do. You just go ahead and... Oh! Sorry, y'all. I got I got uh, Lauren Hill and Praz Rel and Wyclef Jean in the background. My Fuji's, baby. Love me some Fuji's. Oh shoot! Don't don't worry. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna use. It. I won't use it. And I'm gonna do another one. Cause all of this is going inside my quesadilla. So this this green one is gonna be for my garlic. The yellow one was for my lemon and lime. Okay. I think I need one more. Uh, uh, uh. Whew, this week, man. Got my garlic pressed in there. Ugh. I'm not going to press it yet, but I am going to need it. Okay? What? Father, don't let them bury me. Well, oh my goodness. When I tell you this was the best rap group ever, please believe that the Fugees were everything. They were conscious. Lyrically, Above board, everything. Just stylistically, everything. They just had it going on. Okay. Um, so it is my favorite rap group to listen to. Type of fly rhymes. Shrimp quesadillas tonight. Uh, so if you're just joining me, welcome y'all. Don't mean to be rude. Welcome to my kitchen, the Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live and tonight we're doing shrimp quesadillas uh you can catch the show after the live right here on facebook uh or you can catch it on my youtube channel which is sugar pearls that's s-u-g-a-r-p-e-a-r-l-s -E or my website www.sugarpearlsonline.com so I wanted a roasted pepper inside of this quesadilla to give it a really smoky, authentic flavor. 
but I don't have a gas grill. I don't have an outdoor grill. So I took a whole pepper that I washed off, stuck it in my oven on broil top rack, and I'm going to let it kind of blacken, and then I'll peel the skin off. It's going to come together, trust me. Trust me, baby. Meanwhile, um, I'm going to turn this on low and I'm going to turn this up. I need to get my pan ready to put my tortilla down. I got a flour tortilla. I'm not big on flour, but... Oh my god, Maurice, what you know about that Fuji's? What? Said the mood have made music with meaning. We need more of that today. Yes, we do. Definitely. The Fuji's always had something to say, honey. And um it was it was always conscious. It was always thought thought provoking. Um, so that's why I love it. I just do. I made a little bit of, I got some basil here that I chopped up the other day with a little bit of olive oil. And I'm going to throw that in my pan. Oh, I, can use this. I can use this. That's cool. That's all it is. Just some basil and olive oil that I chopped up from my window garden. I know that sounds fancy, but literally it's just a little... It's a piece of basil and some uh, rosemary at my window. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me let me cut to the chase and and stop BSing. Uh, this week, this this season, I'll say that it's not just been this week. It's been rough. Um, I often say in in uh, my shows or in posts or anything like that, I am not afraid to acknowledge that I live with mental illness, um, and that is depression. Depression is a lousy roommate, a lousy roommate. So, um, for someone like me who lives with major depressive disorder, my highs are high. And when I'm high, I'm like, hey, everybody, what's going on? Let's get to it, yada, 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 let's go. You know, we, we can do this. We can run the world. But my lows are extremely low. Now, in the past, my lows um, have been extremely dangerous. And they have led me to places that are not very pleasant at all. Um, since disclosing um, this illness, especially to my family and my very closest friends um, that understand what mental, what um, major depressive disorder is, um, they have embraced me and have allowed me to share. So when, when I'm at those low points, it, it's okay. I don't feel isolated by myself. I can cry it out, get it out, and um, eventually get to a place where I can function. Um, so I'm able to function every day. Let me just say that. Okay, so there ain't no need for you to feel like I'm debilitated and, and you need to feel sorry for me. It's not anything like that. Um... But living with mental illness, in particular, major depressive disorder, um, can, be, can be quite a challenge. And the reason why um, the first song I started off with was The Mask from the Fugees. M to the A to the S to the K, you put the mask on your face just to make the next day. That's kind of my life. Like, we wear these masks that are not necessarily for ourselves, but for other people who feel comfortable. 
Um, and this week I kind of found myself there and I like, I felt myself kind of spiraling. Thank God almighty that I was able to call on one of my very dear friends. Thank God that I was able to call on my mom and my dad and my sister and just be like, I am not okay right now. Things are not good. I feel physically sick. All I want to do is sleep. I don't want to see anyone, talk to anyone. Um, and that that's really the space I was in. I don't know why I'm telling you this. <laughs> uh, except for the fact that I know that by me acknowledging um, some of the things that I live with, um, I don't necessarily suffer with major depressive disorder. There are some days when I feel like I'm suffering and when I am in a pit of despair and there are dark clouds hanging over me. Um, but most days, most days, I just live with it. And like I said, it is a lousy effing roommate. Because it will make you like, not want to talk to anybody, not want to answer the phone. It's real. Really, really real. So, um, as we go throughout this season, and, and as you, there's so many people, um, and uh, I discovered, what I've discovered is as I acknowledge my, um, my weakness as far as my mental health goes, that there are other people that can relate to, to what I go through. And when that happens... We kind of create this community where we can lean on each other. Not have the pity party. Because that ain't cute any day of the week. But we understand one another, if that makes any kind of sense. Oh my God, this is too freaking much. Anywho, anywho. Can't, can't thank you. Thank and. I might, I might be doing too much. Like I said, my mom says sometimes I overshare. I do. And I know I do. Um, and I have to know what not to share. But um, in this season, especially when we're coming up to the holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas and, and all of that, when some people don't have families and people that they can trust to lean on and count on just to share the deep, dark stuff, it is so important that we are patient with people and that we just, even if you don't understand where that person is, that you can at least provide a bit of empathy and say, I don't, I may not understand your situation, but I can sit with you in this moment right now and allow you to just be you and go through. That is so important. So important, and Lord knows, I didn't realize that I was dealing with depression since I was 15 years old. I wasn't diagnosed until I was 35. 35 years old was when I was actually diagnosed, and that put me in the hospital. When a doctor said, <laughs> this is what you're going through. Now, some people um, will hear that and be like, uh, I don't want to F with you because uh, you you might be, you know, a little tick, tick, boom. Um, but it's not that. It's the, everybody has a little storm within. And I had to understand that um, the storm that I live with day to day is not much different than the storm you live with day to day. 
it's okay. It is okay. And so often, I put on a smile so that I can work. I put on a smile that so that I can worship. How often do we put on a smile so that we can just go to church and dress up and look like everything is okay? Is anybody with me there? Done it. Been there. And things are not always okay. Okay, you got people on your pew, you got people next door to you, you got people in the cubicle next door at your job who are dealing with storms in their life and you have no clue. But if you show just a little bit of empathy and sit with them in that storm, just be the umbrella for a little while, honey. That's it. I don't want to burn my food, but I'm just be the umbrella for a minute. The life living blood that that gives somebody who lives with, in my instance, major depressive disorder. When a doctor told me that years ago, I was like, oh my God, I'm crazy. What? Really? And um, <laughs> because in, in our community, in the black community, hold on, I'm going to take my pepper out. See, I, I might have a little tick, tick, boom, but I ain't crazy, boo. Look at there. So I want my, my pepper, after it's been in the oven, to have this little char. Now I'm going to... Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to put it in uh, you know what I'm not going to put it in nothing I'm going to just I'm going to let it steam under that bowl right there and then I'll peel the skin off and then I'll put it in my uh, quesadilla okay oh my gosh yeah Be somebody's umbrella. I love you too, Kelvin. I love you, Dan, Ladidra, Ken. Mm. That's what got me through. Those are the things that got me through. Just, you know, people who allow me just to go through. We all wear masks. We all do. And it might be some of y'all that look at this show every Friday and go, wow, like she's, she does this, she does that. She looks like she's so happy. She's got it all together. There are many times when I don't, I don't, but uh, if you were with me when I first started Sugar Pearl's studio kitchen live i told you that doing this show every week keeps me accountable it keeps me out of trouble <laughs> and i know that sounds crazy but it does like it keeps me from spiraling into this stupor where i don't want to be with nobody i don't want to talk to nobody um I know that for me and the way that um, one of my healing tools is to connect with other people. So, so this is what I do. Ah, Catherine Nisi Harper. Let me tell you something about Catherine Nisi Harper. Catherine, I, I hope you're listening because you said I make this look easy, but I, I'm going to tell you it ain't. Um, for those of you that are out there listening, Nisi Harper, Nisi was that woman um, after I had my baby at Stillman, um, my parents came down to Alabama um, to see me through the delivery process at DCH Hospital. And 
Nisi was the woman who said, y'all can stay at my house. I'll leave. Y'all stay here so that she can recover. Me, my baby Samuel, my mother Ethel, my father Thompson stayed there at Nisi's house. Like everything. It, it was was the Airbnb before there was an Airbnb. <laughs> um, because of her. So, I don't care how easy you think this might look. It's because people have always been in my path and my parents' path my son's path, my sister's and my brother's path to make sure that we were okay. I know that no matter where I go or how high I might think I become or how low I might feel, it's because people have always been there in my path to see us through and thank God for that. Because I was going to take myself out a long time ago if it were not for people like you. Thank you. That's why I can be here now cooking on a Facebook Live, something that I would never do. Because I need to be consistent and hold myself accountable to something that I love with people that I enjoy being with. So thank you. All right, I ain't gonna burn the food. Hold on, hold on. I didn't mean to turn this into a, a therapy session, but uh, if it was therapy for you, I, oh, I got my, uh, What's this? A flour tortilla. A very large one. Bigger than my face. I'm going to put that in my pan. And I'm going to do... Ooh, I know what I'm going to do. Y'all know I make this stuff up as I go, right? I make it up. I make it up. So some of that um, avocado sour cream that I made with the lime juice and, and salt, I'm going to put it on the bottom of this pan mm -hmm. on the bottom of my um, my tortilla good by my side mm, 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 mm. okay so that pepper is hot the pepper that I took out of the oven I'm just I'm peeling the skin off of it if Oh, Lord. Ugh. Sometimes this stuff don't work, y'all. It's, it's a live show. That's all I'm saying. It's a live show. Put my shrimp on here. I pre-cooked them already. And I just want to make sure I get a good... Get it good all around there. Ooh, la, 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 Um, so that's my story. That's it. Ain't nothing wrong. I'm good. I just, um, I needed to acknowledge that so many of us <laughs> are walking around with these doggone masks every single day. And um, it, it can appear, it can appear like there may be very little hope. And that is far from the truth. It's far from the truth. Some garlic going. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Okay. 
And Sanity, that lies a thin line. Oh. So I wanted a, for those of you that are wondering what I'm doing, <laughs> I wanted a nice roasted pepper for my quesadilla. And um, I don't have a gas grill and I don't have a fire grill outside, but I have an oven that I turned up to broil 500 and um, put my, my pepper in there so that it could get a nice char. And when you do that, you end up with this. That's my roasted pepper. That's a roasted pepper, y'all, a roasted red pepper. So that's my roasted red pepper. And I'm going to put that on the inside of my quesadilla. I got some onions I'm going to throw in there. I roasted these onions too. I put them in the oven and just kind of let them char. So they're going in there also. Mm -hmm. And now for the queso part. Quesadilla. Queso. Cheese. Be right back. Alright, this will be due for the queso. So, I've got, where my cheese at? I've got some mozzarella, and I've got some Colby Jack, and I'm going to put that on the, mm-hmm, oh, this is going to be so good, this is going to be great. Now, oh, and mozzarella. So I got my mozz right here. Ooh, and now I'm gonna put another quesadilla, uh, tortilla on top of that. All right, so let me just show you what I did. Mm, that's all of my goodies. I'm going to put these goodies in there too. Why did I leave those out? I was supposed to have some onions and stuff too. Anyway. Just press it. Mm, press it in. Like so. Alright. Now I've got this on low. So that it doesn't. <laughs> mozzarella. Yes Ken. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. Alrighty. Alrighty. Now, all right, all this is my garbage I'm probably going to end up throwing away. And, um, y'all, we're going to be ready to eat in a little bit. Now, normally I don't eat this late, but because of the time change, and all of our work schedules and all of that, I needed to move the time to 7 o'clock. So, thank you for being with me tonight. Because <laughs> um, this is so this is great for me. You know, to get to cook and hang out and talk. Um, but tonight in particular, I was just like, you know what? I, I, I cannot... <laughs> any longer play this game of just um saying cute stuff doing cute things looking cute do i look cute <laughs> and and not um addressing some real issues um so yeah I, we all live with some stuff chad we do um, but it's so much nicer when you can live with those things with people who love and understand and who are willing to battle with you. Get you a battle buddy. My sister, my niece, they are, my niece just retired 
Um, but you know, they're all army girls and everything. And, and, and they have these, when they were coming through basic training, they have what they call battle buddies. People that go through the fight with you. They went through basic training with you. They've all been in the gas chamber together and all of that kind of stuff, child. Um, battle buddies. Get you a battle buddy, honey. So that when you're going through stuff, when you're living with major depressive disorder, um, like me, or any kind of issue, get you a battle buddy. Uh, and I know that it's a stigma in our community to not talk about mental illness because people say, oh, you're crazy, or they just avoid talking about it altogether. And they ain't never help nobody. The things that I talk to my mother and father with now about some of the stuff that, and let me tell you, honey, this past weekend, I had a good cry with them, a good cry. It's stuff that's happened years and years before me. So it's not new. It's not strange or foreign. It's life. It's life. So if you get you a battle buddy, my mom is my battle buddy. Um, my sisters are my battle buddies. Um, I got some girlfriend sisters that are my battle buddies. Yes, honey. We cry, laugh, cuss, fuss, all of that. And then when that time is up, we go, all right. Now it's time to get your butt up and get back in the fight. That's when you know you got a battle buddy. Somebody that says, time to get up and, and get back to fighting you can't stay there sounds easy and it ain't if anybody knows it ain't i do get out there put yourself out there you sitting on a dream you sitting on something you've been wanting to do for years and you're allowing the thoughts and opinions of others or your depression or hurt or heartache past pain to stop you from that let me be the first to tell you to get your ass up i said it get up do it it ain't been done yet because we're waiting on you don't deprive us of your gift Whatever it is you've been waiting to do, do it. You don't need permission. You don't. And when you do, you best believe you're going to have us out there applauding and cheering you on. The ones that really love you. The ones that really appreciate you. But even if they ain't nobody in the cheer stand, know that it's what you got to do. That's how I feel about this. And I'm going to turn this quesadilla before it burns. Okay. I know, y'all. I be starting stuff and then I cut it off and then I go back to cooking. That's just how I am. Oh. Oh. Shrimp. Get back in there, shrimpy. Get in there, shrimpy. Oh, oh. Shrimping. Oh my goodness, this thing got so much cheese. Did I do too much cheese? Can you have too much cheese on a quesadilla? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. Um, I'm going to plate this masterpiece. Oh, oh. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, so 
Let me just now. I ain't. I ain't saying this. <laughs> I'm not saying this for any other reason except for what it is. Okay. Uh, I will be 45 years old on November 16th. 16th. I ain't saying that for nobody to say happy birthday. Don't do that. Okay. It ain't my birthday. Don't say happy birthday. But on November 16th. I will be 45 years old. Now, let me tell you what, what I've been um, living with since since before this year. So, I, you know, I tell y'all when I go to, to oh, oh, the oven is hot, to the doctor. And uh, so, you know, I get a little high cholesterol. I get a little high blood pressure. And I try to make sure I watch what I eat. Um, and some days that's easier than others. Um, but one of the other things that I have is this. Anybody know what this is? Go ahead. Guess. Y'all, what is this? Dan, why you talking about young girl? What's this? Hmm? Anybody? Chime on in. I wear it every day night every night nobody okay i'm gonna show you <laughs> yeah If I can make this look sexy. Hold on for a second. Hey, big boy. How you doing? Oh my gosh, y'all. Cheryl, Kimberly, Sharon, Sheena, I don't care how fine you are, how sexy you are on any day, Monday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday too, this ain't never sexy. What I'm supposed to tell my boo thing? And then it make that noise when it's plugged into the oh uh, stop laughing, Jeanette. <laughs> when it's plugged into the machine with the water, it goes. I wonder if you can. <sighs> That's the sound it make. Like for real, that ain't cute. Can you imagine me in my lingerie? All cute and whatnot. Mm. Yes. Come on. Come on, boo. Yes. Bring it. Bring it. Hold on. Let me put my CPAP on real quick. Y'all. 45 is here, honey. 45 is here. And it ain't cute, but it's here. And I thank God, I do. I really do. <laughs> Yo, Lady Kelvin. <laughs> Yo, I was like, but let me tell you why I, I love my CPAP. I do, and I don't miss a night. I don't miss one night. I don't care. So if you checking for me, if you trying to be my boo, then you're going to have to deal with the whole elephant trunk situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you just are. Because that elephant trunk situation is keeping me alive, boo. It is keeping me alive. So I wear it every night and I get a great night's sleep every single night. Honey, let me tell you. 
Oh, Lord. Young people, if you're out there listening, don't get old. Don't get old. <laughs> As if you could stop it. You're going to get old. You better hope you can get old. And live to see a long and beautiful life. I got my avocado sour cream here. Ooh, I need. I should have cut this up before I put it on the on the plate. But anyway, I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. the god mm, the cheese lord the cheese mm, 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 mm. oh my goodness y'all i'm about to smash i'm about to smash for real i know it's it's not cute the way I set it up but I'm starving yes I bought salsa I didn't make it ain't nothing wrong with taking some shortcuts here and there check out my melodies Wyclef Neck rednecks makes me no bother. Time after time. Shrimp quesadillas. Shrimp quesadilla, y'all. All right. Tonight, let me get a paper towel and oh, here we go. And then I'm gonna pray and then we're gonna eat. And um, I'm gonna sign off. It's just about eight o'clock. Just about. That is your shrimp quesadilla for tonight. Next week, uh, I'm gonna do my grandmother's vegetable soup. Now her vegetable soup had a whole lot, like she had beef and potatoes and tomatoes from her garden and all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to attempt to do my grandma sugar's soup next week. Uh, so join me because then, by then it'll be nice and cold, hopefully. But we've been having some crazy warm weather here in Charlotte. So I was like, eh, don't really feel like a uh, wintertime dinner just yet. So just gonna do a. Uh, something quick and fun my bachelors this is something that you can do uh, when your lady comes over when the fellas come over hook them up a little quesadilla if you don't want to do shrimp you can do chicken yes you can do turkey if you if you vegetarian you can do jackfruit um come on now just mix it up hmm my black beans mm, 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 mm. that is delicious mm, 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 mm. Mm. now for the fajita oh my gosh it's so hot Hmm. Did I just eat all of it without praying? Forgive me. Go back. Back up. Mm. Hold on one second. Let me turn, turn my food juice down. Hold on. Mm, 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 mm. 
I know one thing that that um quesadilla on that griddle like that is so tender and buttery and delicious. Oh my goodness, hey Jennifer, <laughs> my realtor Jennifer. All right, we gotta pray over this shrimp quesadilla and black beans, honey. Delicious. Uh, all right. If y'all ain't, if y'all don't pray, y'all can go to the refrigerator or something. I'll go, go find you a movie on TV for a second, but I, I got to do this. All right. Uh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for allowing me, um, the resources and the wherewithal, the skills to be able to prepare this meal. Thank you for the friends that have joined me for this um, recipe making session, but also this discussion and dialogue. Uh, I ask that you continue to make me thankful for all things, even when things don't look so good, Lord. And help me to be more of a giver um, every single day that I am here. I thank you for the blessings. I thank you for the provisions and allowing me this moment. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I, I had to tell the Lord earlier this week because... <laughs> oh. Um... My best friend, my very best friend called me and was like, um, can you please pray for me? And I was like, bro, I don't know. Like, I, me and God ain't really been on speaking terms. I, I don't know if, if I'm the right person to ask to do this right now. <laughs> um, but I thank my best friend for pushing me to remember um, from whence I came and knowing what I need to get through oh my god okay hold on that's oh lord it's falling apart mm. 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 The messiest quesadilla ever, but by far the most delicious. Honey, ooh. So I found some shrimp today, and when I thawed them out, dried them all, I covered them with some lime juice and some of that, um, Tajine, fruit seasoning, and let it sit in the fridge for about an hour or two before I started cooking. That's all I did. Nothing fancy. This is it. Mmm. 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 Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh. I'm going to need for you to re um go back tomorrow. I'm going to post this back on Facebook, back on my YouTube at Sugar Pearls, S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L-S. And on my website at www.sugarpearlsonline.com. You need to make this. Make it. So freaking good. Mm. I should not be eating this. Mm. Well,
You know what time it is. About time for me to sign off. But before I go, I want to thank my tribe. And the folks in my tribe know who they are. Okay. For believing in my dreams. Believing in me. Not necessarily um, dismissing my faults, but calling me on them and then pushing me to be better so that my faults don't leave such a stain. Thank you. No, for real, for real. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in every Friday. Um, y'all, some of y'all been here since the very first show. I think this is like 12th now, 12th or 13th. And y'all keep tuning in. I'm just a little country girl from Lynchburg, South Carolina. Um, but what I like to be is for real, for real. Not just about my own struggles, but the struggles of so many of us. Um, and hope that we all get to a place of peace and understanding. So that we aren't constantly condemning one another for our faults. We aren't constantly sentencing people to death, literally, for their faults or things that they can't control. Rather, we are loving them through them. So I hope that if anything you get from this show, um, I always tell people this is not a cooking show. I mean, I have to call it a cooking show because I'm cooking, but y'all know how to cook. I don't, I don't want to tell you how to cook. But this is um, really about embracing one another and allowing each other to just share out our various things. And one thing that I hope you get out of this show, for real, y'all, don't be afraid to... Because I used, I used to be scared to death. Like, oh my God, if I tell people that I've got major depressive disorder, they're going to, like, I'm not going to be able to get a job. I'm like, nobody's going to be with me. Mm -mm. No, I, I have something valuable to bring to the table. I know that. But I'm okay with all of my stuff. I'm okay with it. And I want you to be okay with your stuff too. Just be okay with it. It ain't all cute. It ain't all pretty. It don't all fit neatly into the suitcase. It doesn't. Some of it spills out into, into plastic garbage bags. I know. It is ugly. But you, you are beautiful because you continue to endure it all. So no matter what you go through, no matter who you encounter, I hope that at some point you will feel comfortable shedding the mask and just knowing that you are loved. In any case, I love you. And I hope you love me back. It's been another episode of Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Join me next week. I'm making my grandma's um, vegetable soup. Delish. I may do it with a little twist uh, because I won't be able to replicate the goodness that she put into it. But anyway, I hope you'll join me back here again. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much 
for allowing me to have a voice, to share my truth, and to be with you on Friday nights. I look forward to seeing you again. I love you, and I'll see you soon.